Ravi like reading novels about space and aliens. He wanted to be an astronaut and explore the galaxy. He also enjoyed building rockets and robots out of toys and cardboard cartons. He was extremely creative and intelligent. One night, he noticed a brilliant star in the sky. He wished on it, hoping that his fantasy would come true. He fell asleep and had a bizarre and delightful dream. He had a dream that he was on a spaceship, going to the moon. He donned a spacesuit, a helmet, and carried a jetpack and a laser cannon. He was delighted and joyful. He arrived on the moon and discovered a massive crater. He decided to investigate it and see what was within. He used his jetpack to soar above the crater and noticed a gleaming metal door. He unlocked it and entered a hidden base. He was astounded by what he seen. There were several devices and gadgets, as well as a few aliens. They seemed nice and interested. They met him and invited him inside their stronghold. They informed him they were from the planet Zorax and had come to the moon to observe the Earth. They also informed him that they had an issue. Their spaceship was broken, and they couldn't return home. They asked him whether he could assist them repair it. Ravi agreed to aid them. He could mend things and wants to help his new buddies. He followed them to their spaceship and discovered that it had been wrecked by a meteor. He replaced the shattered components with his tools after using his laser pistol to chop them off. He also made some changes with his toys and cardboard boxes. He worked quickly and diligently, and the spaceship was soon repaired. The aliens were extremely thankful and amazed. They thanked him and welcomed him to their world. They mentioned that they had a surprise for him. Ravi accepted the invitation. He was interested and adventurous, and he wanted to see their world. He boarded their spaceship and traveled alongside them to Zorax. He noticed several stars and planets along the way. He was shocked and overjoyed. He arrived at Zorax and noticed that it was a lovely and colorful planet. It boasted green sky, purple mountains, and rainbow rivers. It also included a variety of bizarre and amazing animals, like flying fish, talking trees, and dancing flowers. He was charmed and thrilled. He landed on Zorax and met the extraterrestrial king and queen. They were really friendly and generous. They thanked him for assisting their people and applauded his courage and knowledge. They also handed him a present. The necklace was composed of stars. They claimed it represented their friendship and thanks. They also said that it possessed a particular ability. It may make his desires come true. Ravi was startled and pleased. He thanked them and wore the necklace. He had a pleasant, fantastic feeling in his heart. He also understood he had to return to Earth. He said his goodbyes to the aliens and expressed gratitude for everything. They gave him a hug and wished him well. They also told he might come back at any moment. They were his pals forever. He returned to his spaceship and traveled back to the moon. He traveled back to Earth and landed in his own garden. He saw that it was morning and that his parents had called him for breakfast. He awoke, realizing it was all a dream. He felt sad and disappointed. He wanted it was real. He stood up and realized he was still wearing his jewelry. He was astonished and perplexed. He pondered how it was possible. He looked at the necklace and noticed that it was shining. He remembered what the aliens had stated about its power. He decided to try it 
and see whether it worked. He wanted his dream might come true. As soon as he stated it, he heard a loud bang and seen a brilliant light. He looked outdoors and noticed a UFO landing in his garden. He recognized it as the one that he had mended. He hurried outdoors and witnessed the aliens emerge from the spaceship. They grinned and waved to him. They stated they come to see him and take him on another trip. They stated his desire had come true. Ravi was thrilled and surprised. He realized his fantasy was genuine and his jewelry functioned. He hugged and praised the aliens. He also informed his parents about them and introduced them. His parents were astonished and pleased. They decided to let him go with them and have some fun. They also expressed their admiration for him and pride in his accomplishments. He then proceeded with the aliens to board the spacecraft. He flew with them to another planet and experienced another incredible adventure. He seen and experienced numerous things he never anticipated. He also learned and matured significantly. He felt really satisfied and contented. He was a genuine adventurer.